you start a church and we're young and we're energetic and we're a bit idealistic and that's needed for church planting. Mm -hmm. um, and we thought, boy, we're gonna do a great thing because God's gonna work in it through us to change a lot of people and to change uh, a community and change Gahanna and change the city and change the world and, and all of that. And what we discovered is that through planting Walnut Creek, probably the people who were changed the most were you and me. Mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. uh, um, and perhaps the person, the people who have benefited the most mm -hmm. from Walnut Creek has actually been, been me mm -hmm. and you. Yeah. It was a sweet season in those uh, years, year probably two, three, and four, where we started realizing this, the profundity of the gospel and the simplicity of it. And it started growing as a new hope for us, for not just our own lives and the transforming of us, but also in how we would love and serve our neighbors and um, those in the church. Well, the main thing that we had thought as we were called to church plant and start Walnut Creek is we wanted to make sure that Walnut Creek was in a, a relationally based church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a positive and a negative reason for that. <laughs> negative reason was some of our prior church experiences were not relationally based and so we said to ourselves we're not going to be like them mm -hmm. um we're going to be different if there was some pride attached to that yes <laughs> yes <laughs> um was there uh the positive side was we really did want to be a relationally based church not just a church that had a lot of programs and serviced everybody and mm -hmm. and uh, was what Tammy and I call a bigger, higher, better, faster church where there's everything for everybody and a specialty and a specialized staff member for everything. We actually wanted people to know and love each other, to know and love the pastor and his wife and the staff and that uh, we would learn and grow together as families. So that's what we really wanted. One of our early Bible studies, Tammy and I with some other ladies were sitting around our kitchen table. I remember um, early on in that first year sitting around the table with uh, a few of the women and we said, wouldn't it be wonderful if God kept us together and we could raise our kids and see them graduate and go through life together, just live life together. If God does see fit to build this church, we're going to get to live life together. Um, and, it, and there was so much excitement and celebration to that. And then also the, the, it was also wrapped up in the sorrows. We were going to birth babies together. We were gonna um, bury parents um, or perhaps spouses or just the reality of that. Um, we would have a lot of joys and a lot of, um, and a lot of sorrows together. But the beautiful thing is that we were really looking forward to being together in that and a relational um, based church was really kind of the model that, as you said, we were hoping for and we were envisioning even from the very beginning that we would do life together. And now that we've done that and experienced so much more of his faithfulness and seeing people grow in Christ and love each other in not just the good times of graduations and births of babies and grandsons, and, but also in the hard times whenever you've had illness yourself or sickness in your family and being able to be loved by the community here at Walnut Creek.